Okay, well, it's a new year, and often with New Year's come New Year's resolutions, right? One of the more common ones is committing to reading more often. And if this is one of your goals, we have somebody here to help us. This is Penny. She is a librarian at the Kent District Library. Penny, welcome. Hi, you're welcome. I'm from the Cascade Branch. Yes. So if you've seen me, that's where it's from. Excellent. And uh, now people, I'm sure everybody out there like me, does not read enough. They want to get better at committing to book. And you said we should not use the word should read, but they right. should want to read, things yes. they are attracted to reading. What uh, What's in store for us if we head over to the library? Yeah, if you're reading as a chore for you, maybe it's because you're not reading the right books. Right. Find something that speaks to you. This new book by um, Ann Patchett spoke to me, The Dutch House, yeah. about a huge mansion that becomes almost a character in this book, and the family that lives there, and the conflicts around the house, and loving it and hating it. But if that's not your cup of tea, I've got read this recommendation from one of our librarians who loves graphic novels. Excellent. And they are fabulous right now. This is actually a graphic memoir. I might pick that up from you. So if we have a busy schedule, like so many of our viewers probably do, how do you, how do you work to commit to reading a book while your schedule is still happening around you? A great way to do that that libraries are doing today is you can download a book onto your phone. Mm. And you can listen to a book when you're working out instead of having yeah. the music pounding. You can read while you're driving. So if you've got a long commute, those Perfect can double. Way to do it. Yes, now they can um, transfer right in your Bluetooth. Yeah, into definitely. Your car. And what about the kiddos? You showed me an interesting book over yes. here. If we want to get kids excited about reading, find out what speaks to the kiddos. Just like for adults, what do they want to read about? A lot of kiddos don't like to read a story. They want to learn about animals. We've got great animal animals. books like this one by Nick Bishop about penguins. Fascinating. Excellent. Also, we've got this great series of biographies. Love Who it. was? Who doesn't love biographies, thing. for sure. So finding books that you're interested in, are there any book clubs that exist so we can kind of have like-minded readers gathering and talking about books? Definitely. We've got at KDL something called the Thornapple okay. Brewing okay. Book Club. That's what I attend. It's a KDL book club. We've got one at Thornapple and one at Osgoods. And what we do there is bring two librarians and a bunch of books they've loved recently, yeah. and we tell you about the books. That would be we it. We kind of be... sell them to you. And what happens is the people who come and yeah. join us there tell us what they're reading and what they like. So you learn right from the horse's mouth what's going on, what's good, and you yeah. get great recommendations. I always find that going to a library, it's kind of an escape. You know, some people go to like a Starbucks to kind of drink a coffee and exist from the, take away from the rest of the existence of the world. Um, but going to the library, it's quiet, it's peaceful. It might be a good place to go and curl up with a book for a couple minutes even just to decompress. Okay. You'll see more and more in our libraries, couches, comfy chairs, yeah. nooks and corners in the back where you can hide away. It's not always as quiet at home. <laughs> it's never quiet at home. I'm sure a lot of our viewers can relate to that. Uh, Penny, thank you so much for being here. Check you out at the library all the time, right? All the time. Thanks, all the time. Sarah. Excellent. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.